Hey guys, it is Annie and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what Brandy Melville clothes look like on a size zero versus a size six. As you guys probably know, Brandy Melville is one size fits all. If you've ever been to a Brandy Melville, then you probably know the struggle of trying to find something that actually fits you. I run into this problem whenever I'm shopping in a Brandy Melville section. My sister is a size zero and I'm a size six, so we're gonna be seeing what one size fits all Brandy Melville clothes looks on different body types and sizes. Now before I get into this video, I do wanna to talk to you guys about today's sponsor. And today's video is sponsored by Simple Health. Simple Health is an easy and discreet way of getting birth control delivered right to your door. Simple Health has over a hundred different brands of the pill along with the patch or ring, ensuring you can get the birth control you want based on your personal preferences. Simple Health is free with most insurance providers. However, if you are not insured, it starts at just $15 per month, which really isn't bad at all. When I first went to the doctor to ask for birth control as a teenager, it was very awkward. I mean, I only wanted to go on birth control just because my periods were getting so bad and the symptoms from it were also worsening, so I needed a solution. And since I was just 16 at the time, my dad was in the room with me when I asked about it. And if I had known about Simple Health then, it would have made the process a lot less awkward and way more private. Simple Health also doesn't put any labels on the shipment making the package discreet when it is sent to you. Not only that, but going in person to get the pill is expensive. It's at least a $30 copay just to talk to your doctor about the pill. Then to get your prescription renewed, that's another $30 copay that you'll have to pay one to two times a year. With Simple Health, you don't have to pay for any office visits, which saves you a lot of money. Simple Health also makes my life a lot easier by delivering the pill right to my door. I live a pretty busy life because of work, school, and other social media related stuff that it's difficult to find the time for doctor's office visits and drives to the pharmacy. With Simple Health, everything is done online, which means I don't have to drive to the pharmacy and I don't have to go in person to those follow-up appointments just to get my birth control renewed. It's seriously that easy. Don't miss your chance to try Simple Health. Go to simplehealth.com slash Annie Cooper or enter Annie Cooper at checkout to try Simple Health for free. I do want to note that Simple Health isn't a replacement for routine checkups with your doctor. It's just a simplified way of getting birth control. All right, let's get right back into the video. So since I live in Arizona, there aren't any Brandy Melville's here. So I did go to a PacSun because they have a little Brandy Melville section in there. So I'm not going to lie. Since there wasn't a huge selection, I wasn't able to make perfect outfits. I just wanted to put that out there in case the outfits looked a little weird. It, it's just because there like wasn't a huge selection to choose from. So we did our best. And I think I might have talked for too long, so let's just get right into the video. You look like you're going to a business meeting. I'm going to my grandma's retirement home to visit Granny for her 85th birthday yes. and play some bingo. Perfect. That's exactly what this looks like. <laughs> Yeah, that, wow, quite a difference there. Ooh, show it from the side.
Leave my sister on me. is outfit number three. At first she thought the top was too big, but I feel like it's actually perfect. Like I feel like it was too booby on me. I don't know. Yeah, no, I think the skirt was not the best match. Oh my God, you look so good right now. Yeah, that is crazy show. It was really small, I could barely get that on. dumb right now so here's the next look <laughs> um yeah this looks like a bralette i feel like like a this would be a good tiktok top is what it would be yeah this is like a catholic school girl sh skirt it's very long just the four finger oh my god guys it matches the four finger roll look at that wow yeah wow. so a good a good um church look maybe not the top maybe if the top was a little longer <laughs> ow <laughs> this is a look three so i just wore this see how it doesn't look like a bralette on her it's a lot more um it like goes down longer. Oh yeah, she looks on big news. What? That's crazy. That, yeah, it was a little big on me, but it's like huge on you. Yeah. I can't. Okay. Hey, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> For Catholic school church. Most practical outfit. However, do you feel like, you know, it's a little tight? Hold on, I'm trying to make it cuter. Okay, whatever. Give up. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my god, you look so young, so cute. I'm in high school again. Yeah. She said even the skirt's a little tight on her though. Yeah, um, it's like, I don't know, I can pull it out, but it's like, you. I feel like you have a lot of fabric there though. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. I don't know, I just feel like it just doesn't fit right. Like it's um, tight here, but then like baggy down here. And right. Really tight. Like, that's very true. I this hip room here that, that I don't have. That's really cute though. <laughs> fabric right there. See, I feel like that looks kind of weird right there. Yeah. It's it weird. It's like a point, like you have a tail. Like I should, there's a butt that should be there. I just don't have it. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so now that you guys have seen what Brandy Melville looks like on different body types, I thought I would talk a little bit about what I thought from the whole experience. So as you could tell from the outfits, there was a pretty significant difference between a zero and a six and between different like bust sizes. So one of the biggest problems I have with Brandy Melville is that it doesn't really look good on girls with big boobs. Like, it's just really hard to wear Brandy Melville if you have big boobs just because their clothes are so tight and so small and they're also really cropped. So it'll look really normal on like one girl, but for me, I look a little more like hoey or like someone like my sister who has like pretty average like boobs and like a very small body everything looked more normal on her so it looked like the shirts kind of fit her a little bit better than they did me it's hard to say just because i do have really big boobs like 
I wear a G cup, so finding clothes that even fit that is difficult. So I do have to give Brandy Melville that. Like, they're not the only place that doesn't really like cater to bigger boobs. There were some other things that I found kind of weird about their clothes. So if you guys remember that skirt, it was green and we called it like a Catholic schoolgirl skirt. That skirt was big on me and big on my sister. And I'm like a size four to six in like a pant size. And the fact that it's meant for like smaller waist, but it was still big on me, I thought that was kind of weird. But that skirt was like way bigger than the black skirt that I could barely fit on. So I feel like their sizing all around is just like weird. I don't know if they throw in a skirt like that to kind of not seem like they're just making clothes for like really small girls. I don't know what's up with that sizing. It's just really weird. But yeah, a lot of their tops very tight. It's very hard for me to wear those. They looked really funny on me. I guess I would say that's kind of like my consensus on the whole thing. Um, I definitely think Brandy is meant for more like my sister. Maybe a size two is like the perfect Brandy size. Two to four because I feel like some of it even looked too big for her, which is why I get so annoyed that Brandy Melville's one size fits all. I don't know what it would do for them to introduce like a wide range of sizes. I feel like that's the only way of making it fair just because I go into a Brandy Melville and my like self-confidence like drops to the floor because I can only fit into like 25% of their clothing if I'm lucky. And Brandy Melville's clothes are just very cheap but they're really cute, so I still wear them even though I don't really agree with their values as a company. I think it's very stupid, to be honest, with their like trying to be exclusive and trying to cater to a certain type of girl. I think it's very messed up, but their clothes are really cute and that's what makes it so difficult. What do I do with myself now? Do I buy it? Do I give into it? If you guys would like to see a part two to this, let me know. There is a bigger pack sun. It's just 40 minutes away and I didn't want to drive all the way down there. Um, so if you guys like this video and would like to see a part two, let me know down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you guys can know when I upload new videos. Alright, I suppose that is it. Bye guys!